Hi there. Now, since I shot this video, um, I've actually removed the luggage system from the bike. Uh, during the video, I say that the uh, luggage system took two hours or so to attach to the bike. Um, now it's become apparent to me that if you're only fitting the pannier system, it's really easy, uh, probably a 10 minute job. I'm actually going to film that in my garage now, fitting a pannier uh, rail. And I'll put a timestamp in the description. So if that's all you're interested in, um, you can just skip to that. Otherwise, enjoy the video. Ciao. Hello ladies and gentle pigs. Now when I bought my Z Nikita here, um, I wasn't intending to put luggage on the bike, but my desires altered. And there wasn't very much information at the time. It was a fairly new model. And I was looking for some hard luggage with security so it could be locked and left. Um, obviously soft luggage would look better and be cheaper. And I ended up with shad hard luggage which i've gone for a 39 litre top box and 36 litre panniers you can get smaller panniers and bigger top boxes now i'm actually taking the luggage system off the bike in the next week or so uh, i don't think i'm going to be needing it for another year or so now and the bike will be looking a lot better without it so i thought i'd just take take some time to make this video beforehand in case it's helpful to somebody now I assume you're here because you're considering luggage for your Z or perhaps you're looking at a Z yourself and seeing what your options are. So I was just going to show you first of all how the framework looks on the bike. It's not particularly pretty. How it attaches and then I'll show you how the luggage attaches and finally I'll show you how the bike looks with the lug luggage attached in its various combinations. Now initially my intention was to uh, fit and remove the framework as and when I needed it but it actually took um, probably two to two and a half hours to fit so it was a bit more involved than I had thought so I decided, decided to leave it on the bike. Anyway when you buy the, buy the setup from Shad you get these instructions and it all looks a bit daunting at first with all the bits and pieces laid out on your driveway but the instructions are simple enough to follow if I can manage it I think most people can anyway here's the framework on the bike and I've got the framework for the panniers and the top box and you can um, buy them and attach them both individually so there's your pannier mounts which attach to a foot bag there up here into your frame and under here into your frame and this is your top box mount which also goes into the frame and I don't know if we can see under here try and show you under there, bolts into the frame underneath the seat. So, from certain angles, I don't think it looks too bad. And there are the shots you'll see on the websites. From other angles, I have to say, not pretty at all. That's a fake number plate, by the way. So that's briefly covered the framework. Now I'll start adding the luggage, show you how easily it fits. So we'll start with the pannier. And basically you pull this handle up 
how it attaches to the bike is when you push that handle down this hook clamps around the mounting bar and to bring that handle up you simply press this one pull it up let's bring it around the other side and fit it okay to mount the pannier basically try not to break my wire this slot hooks over the front of the frame there so you're going at this angle push down push that handle down and that's on there and it's solid it's not going anywhere and of course that locks now to open it push that down pull that flap to open it and I've got the inner liners for these got a retaining strap close it again and then to remove just as easy pull the handle up lift off and back simples okay onto the top box equally as simple this um, what would you call that a step fits into this groove at the front of the mount this groove at the front of the mount there so first of all slot that in push this one down push the box down until it clicks and you're on again solid as a rock open like that again that's lockable so it can't be taken off the bike or opened and to remove like so happy days so that's my setup now the extras I bought were the inner liners for the panniers and this pad for the top box like a backrest which the girlfriend seems to like not a particularly cheap setup I think all told it was about 640 pounds at the time and that was from a company called Fast Bike Bits um, obviously I don't know what the deals are these days but have a look around if you're interested now I think I'm going to leave you with the shots I promised of the bike in the different combinations of the luggage and I'll say ciao for now Thanks for watching, bye bye.
Okay, like I said, this is going to be how to fit the pannier mounts alone to the motorcycle. Tools you're going to need is a 5mm and a 6mm Allen key, that's it. And I'll just very quickly show you what we need to undo on the bike. I'm a bit cramped in my garage. Okay, so under the seat, hopefully you can see it. There's one there. I've already slackened that one. That needs to come off. A little luggage bobbin there. And take these two out for your rear foot rest. Okay, before mounting the frame, I think the first thing you want to do, you get a spacer, because the frame sits in behind the foot peg mount there, you get a spacer to make up for the same distance at the bottom. So if we get that spacer in there, it comes with the, the different bolts for the um, foot peg mount. And we'll just slot that in there loosely. Okay, now what we've got is a long bolt with a spacer. This goes up into that hole there. And the bar at the front goes behind the foot peg mount. So if I just kind of catch the foot peg in first. That'll hold that in position there. And then we can wind this one up. The instructions say actually don't tighten anything until it's all in position. That's on there. And I've actually got the wrong bolt for this because this is off. This one had a spacer on that goes between the top box mounting. So you get a shorter bolt to go in there. And that's it. Then you're ready to tighten them all up. That's back to the five mil, all these bolts. And there we are, all in position. You would just have this one more bolt to tighten in there. Obviously I can't do that. But that's how easy it is.